What up, y'all? Red Rocket back at it. Hey, we got these, uh, the aluminum hexes in from Techno. They came overnight. That was pretty quick. It came from Jersey, but still, usually it takes, you know, three days. But this was overnight. I like that. That's good stuff. Got that off of eBay. Went up to Pit Stop. Uh, I got the Team Losi Diff Fluid, 40000 for the center. We're going to get that done today. And I'm going to switch out the shock fluid. Uh, basically what I did the first week when this thing crashed and everything broke, uh, I mean, I bought a temporary plastic front knuckle, but what I did was I switched up the springs, which is fine, but I also switched up the, uh, shock fluid and I put 50 weight in there and it's way too much. So when it jumps, it just thuds and it doesn't, there's no play in it. It's real stiff. So we're going to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, 30 and I think it's 37 and a half in the front 30 in the rear so got a little bit of work to do uh, I'm gonna keep posting a little bit here and there what I'm doing and uh, get this center diff out all right y'all we back at it um, so today we're gonna try to get this center diff out and from what I'm seeing we got these four screws here and then this whole motor mount should just come out and then I should just have to unscrew these two and then I can slide the diff out so I can work on it. So that's the game plan. Let's see if it actually works. Huh? All right, let me get a couple tools out here. Ready? Sure, that's just a two. So all right, we're gonna flip her upside down. This. We're just going to loosen them. I'm going to use the mechanical one to finish getting it out, make it a little quicker. So, try to make this a fast repair here. I don't want y'all sitting here for another 10 minutes while I do this shit. I might actually pause some of it and just come back when shit's done. So, that's two. Four. I mean, there is one more that's going to be on the edge here. It should be this one here. Yeah, that's why you got to loosen it first. Let's see here. There we go. All right, that's that. Now I'm going to flip this. This motor mount should just fall out. There we go. There we go the center dog bones. Set those aside for now. Alright. We got our motor mount. And the diff. Now what I noticed uh, when I did the gear mesh. Uh, it was pretty hard to do it while it was mounted in here. So what I did was I just pulled this out. Lined it up and she's pretty smooth. It's all mod one. Alright, so hopefully what I'm about to do here works. I haven't done this yet, so I'm hoping that just for moving this, these two screws here will release the diff. And then uh, hopefully I'll be able to just change this fluid out, pop it back in, and we're done. Alright, and y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm taking the two front screws on this plastic piece to release it just what it looks like it's supposed to do all right and let's see here boom beautiful look at that that's actually pretty simple all right and this is all right it just slides right off set that aside and we got a diff so what we're gonna do is oh yeah that's just flying <laughs> that's just grease in there all right i'm gonna go ahead and just take this apart switch the oil i'm not gonna make y'all watch this shit again um, put it back in and I'll just show you how to reverse it, but that's how you pull your center diff out uh, Just take the whole motor mount off. It's a lot easier Pull that up opposite plastic piece off and it frees it right up simple All right, I just popped this diff open look at this shit. There's like literally nothing in there like really 
and this is all just literally nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down, clean it all out, and uh, we're going to put some 40,000 in the center. Be right back. All right, we got it all cleaned up, put the diff fluid in there. It's a little tighter, which is what we want. I mean, if you go with anything less, it's going to just be no different than putting grease in there, really. It was just spinning freely. This helps distribute the power evenly to the front and rear, depending on what oils you use in the front and rear as well, but whatever. Um, if you need to know how to uh, redo a diff, check my last video, which was the Hobio Ofna uh, rear diff access and oil change. I show how to take this apart and clean it up and put some diff oil on there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. It should be quick. All right, y'all got everything mounted back in. It was real quick. Um, I think the only thing I guess that's a, you know, you should take note of is the small dog bone goes in the front and the large bone goes in the back. That's it, man. Just pop that shit back in there. Reattach the plastic piece in the front here, uh, first, and then I just dropped it back in there, put the bones in. And the only issue I had was that plastic piece that's in the front. You kind of got to bend it so that you can get the holes lined up. But once they're lined up, it goes right back in. I actually just turned it on and it sounds pretty damn smooth. And then, uh, uh, I'm done with the diff oil. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to... I had all this stuff taped onto this platform here. And I'm going to retape it. And for that, I got some Gorilla mounting tape uh, they didn't have the 3m stuff and they had some other cheap shit so i grabbed this instead hopefully that holds up and uh that's that man that was the center diff um what i'm gonna do like i said i'm gonna tape all this stuff back in there i'm done for today and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll try to attack this front diff. it looks the same as the rear hopefully it's that easy and this was a cake job i mean the slash was a little more difficult you'd have to pull off the whole front end and you know get to the diff that way but this is like it's right there it's simple the rear was awesome and uh yeah let me tape this stuff up and i'll be back tomorrow so we can do the front um like comment subscribe i hope i'm helping somebody out if not i'm helping myself out because i'll probably forget this shit or if something ever happened to me my nephews my son they get my cars they got a way to look it up how to fix them how to put oils and yeah they're getting hooked up but yeah man red rocket racing i'll see y'all